Hi Virgo, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Mary and Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, this is intended for singles, so you do have to be single in some way, shape, or form. Uh, you could be separated um, on a break or something like that, or you could be totally single, uh, wondering when am I going to meet somebody. Um, could be any kind of energy here, as long as you're single at this time. If you feel do feel like you have a connection with somebody, I do also a love connection reading monthly, so you can check the description box below and uh, go to the love playlist. That'll take you to love and find uh, the love connection readings. And maybe something there, maybe that will resonate for you too. So, you know, feel free to check that out. So welcome all Virgos, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a nice Christmas, Happy New Year. So what I'm going to do with this uh, reading, if you're not familiar with my singles reading, I'm changing the format a little bit. So if you watched my previous singles reading and you prefer that style better, you can let me know in the comments or if you prefer the style, if you're not familiar with how I did them before, again, you could check the playlist, love playlist, and find the November, December singles reading. And um, you could tell me which one you like better, or if you like both, I can alternate, you know, whatever whatever you guys want to see. I thought this would be a little different. So, as usual, the first thing I'm going to do here with the Zodiac deck is pull a couple signs, incoming signs for Virgo at this time, Spirit. Please, I say at this time, to, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So... If you like to go back and watch past readings, totally fine. Like I said, all your playlists are below in the description box, as well as how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, um, all kinds of stuff. So feel free to check that out. All right. So we have air and we have Uranus. So air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. And Uranus is... Aquarius. So <laughs> definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius here. And Uranus is all about uh, human needs, changes, and that sort of energy. So basic human needs and changes of life. So all right. So we'll see if that has anything to do with your reading. And air is just the energy of, um, it's all about the mind, clarity, thinking, um, communication, ideas, anything to do with the mind, communication, honesty, truth, and that kind of energy. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. I just noticed air is 50, uh, 25, which is 7, and you are 6, so 6, 7. Hmm. But then Uranus jumps all the way to 20, so, which would be 2. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here, uh, Virgo, is I'm going to pull in uh, overall energy, like an opening energy. Now, this energy could represent you. It could represent the possible person. It could represent possible future energy. So I'm just going to take what comes here. So let's get an opening energy for Virgo at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Opening energy for Virgo. Oh, we have Ganesha. Clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. And 31 is all about, is four is all about um, basis, foundation, stability. So something here is divinely protected. And there's divine guidance in some way. And some sort of obstacles are being cleared. Hmm, this could be a divinely guided connection. Divi and obstacles are being cleared for this connection. Hmm, okay. So... Virgo, I'm going to put an energy on this side, energy on that side. If you resonate with one of the sides, then I'd say pick a side. And then the other side would be the possible person. If you don't resonate with either side, um, it could resonate in the future. Or maybe it may not be your reading at this time. All right. So let's see. On this side, we have Moonlight, 36, 9, Travel, Romance, and Potential. And 9 is... um. Almost at a completion, nine, and then 10 is a completion, one is a new beginning. And over here we have the message, positive news, positive outcome, 28, 10, again with ending. So now we've got nine, 10. And here's the ending on this side with 10 and then a new beginning. So some sort of message here. Hmm, okay. Now on the bottom of the deck we have sacred earth mother, a message of love, 42 is six. 
A six is a very balancing healing number. Sacred Mother just reminds me again of more divine energy. And you see the um, dove here for peace, harmony. Getting a lot of divine spiritual energy. You got the moonlight, the moon shining down. Then the message with the dove. And then the Sacred Earth Mother here. Wow. <laughs> this could be like a divinely guided um, connection for you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. We're going to clarify each side with the tarot, and then we're going to bring the two together, see how they'll meet in the middle, or you know how the energies will come together, and then once they're together, how that energy plays out. So it'll be kind of interesting here. For Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I just want to say thank you, everybody who supported the channel, whether you've tipped, donated, uh, just subscribe. New subscribers, welcome and thank you. Sent a gift, um, reached out for personal reading. Whichever way you supported me in the channel is truly, truly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So big thank you, thank you. So we have the Ten of Wands. So laying down heavy burdens here on this side. Four of Cups, feeling kind of bored. Bored and blah. All right, let's get another one. Get one more on this side. In the chariot, taking action, moving forward. This side, I feel like, this side could be traveling because we got the chariot, which is about traveling, moving forward. And then this card says travel, moonlight, romantic, uh, romantic, no, romance and potential. I feel like on this side, somebody felt bored in a situation. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be about love. It could be anything in general. Just felt bored, maybe just in life in general. You know, had a lot of responsibilities, burdens, worries. And finally, I think just got up and, and took action and went on vacation and went away for a while. That's what I'm getting with that. Maybe on a cruise or maybe, you know, overseas or maybe just near the water or something like that. Maybe that's how you meet this person. You're totally, totally. And over here, Earth Mother. So definitely maybe, um, well, you wouldn't be camping now. It's too cold, but... Um, yeah, I feel like really maybe got away just to go maybe, I don't know, hiking in the mountains or skiing or if it's cold and snowy, skiing or whatever or just getting getting away is what I'm feeling. All right, so let's get some energy on this side. We have the Two of Pentacles. So somebody's juggling around on this side, feeling a little imbalanced, trying to get their balance, juggling a lot around. That's too many too many king of wands but very fiery passionate energy go getter kind of energy and the ace of pentacles wow this person over here might just start a new business and i'm seeing ships on like water so maybe they have uh, a new business or something that they started um because the ace of pentacles is all about new beginnings material career that kind of energy. King of Wands is a very entrepreneur kind of energy, a lot of creative ideas. And then, you know, I feel like somebody has been juggling um, an idea around of starting a new business, maybe. Could be something to do with water, on water, near water, or something like that. All right, so let's get. Uh, that was in reverse. Hmm, the King of Pentacles in reverse. So the. Pentacle energy is all about stability. Yeah, I feel like this side over here was, wasn't was feeling very stable. I'm not getting like stable, like their career was unstable, just like not stable as in I need to get away and away from all the BS of life. I just need to get away. That's the kind of energy I've got with the King of Pentacles. It's like I'm not feeling secure and stable at this time. My life is just, uh, I just need to get away and take a break from it all. That's what I get with that. So let's see. Let's get another energy over here. This over here. So we got the Empress. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. Exactly. I really feel like this person is someone who's just started some sort of business having to do with, I mean, maybe they own a, I don't know, a hotel or motel on the water or something like that or something around water or something. Or I mean, it doesn't have to be, but, and here's that, Empress energy, somebody who creates new things, who can be a boss in charge, the leader. Emperor, empress, doesn't matter. I feel like this side just needed to get away from responsibility. King of Pentacles is very responsible. 
They're very smart, analytical, you know, they very, very trustworthy and responsible. And I just feel like overburden, vacation, getaway. So chariot, <laughs> got in their chariot, went on vacation. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And it may be to wherever this person is. Okay, so, and I feel like it's all divinely guided kind of energy. This message here, though, with positive news and positive outcome, um, it could be that they had to wait before starting uh, this new adventure on um, a message or something, and they got that positive news, and now they're starting out on their venture here. All right, so let's see. So we have, oh, we have Scorpio energy. We have we have death energy here. Ooh, this is like the energy of how will this come together? And we got death. So let's get another one. I don't know why that's here. Death. That's about transformation. Something coming to an end. So there can be a transformation. Why is death here for how these energies will come together? Seven of Swords, sneaky, deceitful energy, sneaking away. It could be, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to piece this together. It could be that, you know, you just needed to end uh, responsibility for a while with the death card. So you just, I mean, maybe you went away for like a long vacation, like a couple weeks or something like that. So you can kind of rest, relax, reground yourself with the sacred mother earth here and like transform yourself in a way it's the seven of swords that's like a sneaky energy like getting away i felt like feel like you just needed to like just end responsibility for now best for you sneak away maybe you didn't even tell anyone maybe you just snuck away on vacation with the seven of swords energy the swords is definitely uh winter so that's this time now we're in winter so and you see that horse is like traveling to this, like the energy is coming together. So, so I feel like if it's this winter, you go away on vacation. Uh, that's how you may meet this person. I mean, they may help you. Uh, whatever, whatever kind of business they have that you travel on vacation to to get away. Um, I see them like helping you. Um, you know, whatever, whatever it is there, you know, helping you, waiting on you or something like that. So what do we have here? Six of Wands, success, victory. Hmm. And now we have, wow, the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Wow. So, yeah, Swords right here in the middle, definitely winter energy. Six of Wands, success and victory. Feeling accomplished. Fiery passion energy. Sword of truth, clarity, sword of victory, brand new beginning, cutting away energy, no longer serving, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is, open, truthful communication, nine of cups here. It could be, you know, if they have like a nice hotel, motel or something, some kind of like neat little place that you go to to get away and maybe they have a bar or a restaurant and they have some... Um, know entertaining things to do or activities or something like that i could kind of see you going for a drink and i think uh, they're going to be there <laughs> also and that's how you may meet this person i mean this may not be for everybody um if you don't if you're not going on vacation getting away you could be just like i don't know going out for the night or something or traveling like an hour away or something just to like get out and get away for the day and do something like fun. And I think this is how you may meet this person and they may actually um, run or own or manage whatever it is you're going to. And I think that's how you're gonna meet this person. All right, so let's get a couple more energies here. So we have the King of Swords, truthful, honest, open, and that's that air energy and the magician manifesting a new beginning. Wow. so. I think this <laughs> very open, honest, truthful communication, I think, between the two of you, maybe over a drink or two, and it's going to be very successful. Like, you're going to have a connection, like a fiery, passionate, like, exchange, uh, and I don't mean passionate, like, you're going to go jump in the sack, but um, 
it's like you you're like you're passionate about the same things very fiery and um energy and happy kind of energy you know very 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 open honest truthful communication here now we have the king of swords in manifesting a brand new beginning here so i feel like you're going to have like an instant connection with this person it's just going to like kick off into this new beginning you got two aces here wow so let's see the possible outcome whoa let's see what the possible outcome is here for virgo and whenever i see the king or queen of swords it always reminds all the ace of swords reminds me of divine energy like stepping in to shed light to shed truth uh, kind of energy as with that air energy and we have the king and the ace here so and i felt that divine energy uh here so and all the aces are divinely guided kind of energy also so what is the possible outcome here for virgo ten of pen ten of pentacles really that's like the marriage card long-term commitment sharing everything together the assets being i can see you like going wherever this person is and like being like a power couple like running a business or something wow <laughs> this may not be for everybody but the ten of pentacles is growth abundance and prosperity and long term and never ha never having to worry sharing everything assets home and family marriage possibly down the road wow I feel like it could be this winter definitely here and I think by summer, it's like by next winter, you could be next fall, you could be like engaged or like really serious with this person. And it's going to happen, I feel, very quickly, especially with the ace here and then the magician uh, here manifesting this forward. The six of wands. And do we have the chariot? Oh, the chariot's over there. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the two of wands. So yeah, making plans, decisions for the future, moving forward. Four of swords. Yeah, the, you know, and it's in reverse. So no longer like just sitting back and doing nothing and being bored. No, not in that energy anymore. The wheel, it's in reverse though. So I feel like, um, you know, there could be a delay here. Uh, you know, the wheel of fortune is usually about fate, destiny, divine timing, um things going in a better direction so there may be maybe a delay in some sort or something like that in the connection here but uh we do have the nine of pentacles here which is a single energy so i mean you both could be totally single here independent you know can take care of yourself kind of energy but there's total happiness joy and fulfillment in every single way happy home and family success victory enlightenment everything absolutely everything positive with the sun, we got Leo twice here, back to back. And strength, very, very strong bond here. Very strong bond. And a lot of love and emotion with the Queen of Cups energy. Very strong, strong bond. The sun and strength. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like both very independent in your own right. Somehow, some way, there's some sort of delay here with the wheel. With this fully coming together. You know, if you have to travel, and that's how you meet. Maybe they live at a little bit of a distance, so it might be a travel issue or a distance issue. I don't feel like a, a big difference, you know, maybe a couple of hours or something like that. But, you know, you're not going to take your time with this either with the Four of Swords in reverse. It's like, you know what you want. You've you've been healed. You've been, you thought about it, and you, you're going to know exactly what you want. So making those plans, decisions for the future moving forward. Wow. Wow, Virgo. Okay, so I'm going to pull some extra messages with this deck just to close it out. I do ask Virgo if you like my style and how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You won't miss out if you do. Thank you. I do four different readings a month. I do um, a singles reading, a love connection reading, a general reading, and a spiritual reading. It's either messages from your spirit guides or your angels or something like that. And I've also just started a new um, weekly element energy reading, Love, Life, and Advice, uh, based on the elements. So if you're interested in all, all that, please do subscribe or check out my channel. And if, like, if you like what you see, you're welcome to subscribe. Although I think I may be discontinuing the general in the spirit guide readings and may just concentrate on bi-weekly love readings for now, doing the singles 
and the um, Love Connection readings. And maybe sometime in the future, I may pick up doing the rest of the readings. I'm going based on uh, viewers, what they like, and views, and watch time on my uh, readings. So, seems like the general readings and the uh, spirit messages, that type of thing, they don't really, not really a hit on my channel yet. So, I'm thinking about discontinuing those. So, we'll see. All right, let's get some extra messages here for Virgo. Oh, we got two. We got the Warrior, and we got Belonging, House of Night. So the warrior, you know, wounded worry, but you keep on fighting on. But we have two, which is about unity, and we have belonging, house of night, which is 41.5, which is change. So, you know, I feel like warrior, you know, just fighting for this connection, uh, standing up for it. Um, I'm not getting, like, anything negative with that. Um, maybe just, you know... We keep fighting on and struggling on and fighting for it. And then we have, I think you're just going to feel like you fit together, like you just belong together. You got 415, so change. I think all of a sudden it's going to be like a big change in your life. Like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. I found like my person. And you're just going to feel like that fit together, like you just belong together. And then we have self-worth, 32, which is 5. Five again, it's about change. So a lot changing, I feel, here. And both knowing your self-value, your worth, um, and being that, like, nine of pentacles, emperor, empress energy. I think, I think very two strong-willed people who have, like, almost the same person, not the same personalities, but the same qualities, the same values. They're going to have a lot in common, I feel. And uh, I do see this going in a good direction. Wow, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Well, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.